Yeah, they had the marijuana in the center of their property, roughly 10 acres. You couldn't see it. Thousands of marijuana plants growing in between squash and other vegetables. But you could smell it. And this neighbor, who didn't want to show his face on camera, is disturbed by it. And that is disturbing because that will ultimately percolate into the groundwater. Drug agents say drug traffickers used human waste to fertilize pot. It's just one example of an illegal pot operation, one of dozens scattered throughout Madera County neighborhoods, not in the Sierra National Forest, a typical hotbed for drug cartels. The drought is now driving pot growers from the Sierra all the way down to the valley floor. The latest bus just about a half a mile from a school. Some of these things are six or eight feet tall. Madera County Sheriff John Anderson says drug traffickers have run out of water in the mountains, so they're heading for the groundwater, community wells. They ran out of water sometime you know, earlier in the spring. So what they have done is they've moved down to the foothills here where there's water not coming from springs and, and streams, but from wells. The small community of Madera Ranchos is in a stage four water alert. That is, wells are so low, people are no longer allowed to water outdoors. And neighbors are livid that they can't water their front lawns, but criminals can water their plants. Well, I think it's going to continue to get worse if they're stealing water from from people that desperately need it, I think it's just going to get worse from here.